Okay, so we have previously discussed series, and we said that a series is simply a sum of an infinite list of real numbers, so it's an infinite sum. And now we can look at this from a very general point of view. We're saying, okay, given a list of real numbers, we will try to add all of them, the entire infinite list, and if the result is a real number, we say the series converges. If the result does not exist, we say the series diverges. So in general, we can take any infinite list of real numbers, therefore any sequence. So we have here the sequence a1, a2, a3, a4, and so on. And we're going to try to add all of these real numbers. But let's be rigorous, and then we'll look at the series more intuitively. So first, we'll form what's known as the sequence of partial sums. So we can do S1, which is summing the first term of the, sequ of the sequence, so A1. S2 will be summing the first two terms of the sequence, so A1 plus A2. S3 is summing the first three terms of the sequence, A1 plus A2 plus A3. S4 is summing the first four terms of the sequence. And we can keep going like this. So in general, what if we try to add the first positive uppercase n terms of the sequence? So S subscript uppercase n. So we're adding the first uppercase n terms of the sequence. So a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 all the way up to the nth term of the sequence. And we can of course write this concisely using sigma notation. We are adding a n, the terms of the sequence, beginning from the first term all the way up to the nth term, uppercase n. And now again, our goal is to try and possibly add all the terms of our sequence. So we have to, to obtain this, let uppercase n, the number of terms we're adding from the sequence, approach infinity. And this is really what we're interested in. So we take the limit, as uppercase n goes to infinity, of our sequence of partial sums, as n is us summing the first positive uppercase n terms of our sequence. I will now replace as n by its concise form using semi notation. Instead of writing this out, I will use this form. And again, using a similar idea that we used in improper integrals, we will combine the upper bound of summation with the limit in the following fashion. So we are summing, we're, we're, we're saying, we are summing a n from 1 to n, so a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 up to a n, and we want to see what happens as we let n go to infinity, as we keep adding more and more and more terms of the sequence. So we can say, well, okay, so we're trying to add the terms of our sequence beginning with the first and ending where? Well, we stop at n, but we are letting n tend to infinity. So we can write this in this way. And this is the series corresponding to the initial sequence. The sequence is the list of individual terms, of these individual real numbers. The corresponding series is trying to add all of the terms in your sequence together. And again, you can write this out explicitly to make this more intuitive. This is trying to do what? Well, A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 and so forth. We're trying to add all the terms of our sequence together. And as I've said before, if this infinite sum exists, 
if the series returns a real number, we say the series converges. If this infinite sum does not exist, then it does not return a real number, and we say that the series diverges. So think of it in these two ways. This is really the intuition. Given an infinite list of real numbers, a1, a2, a3, a4, and so forth, we're asking, can we possibly add all of those terms together and obtain a real number? If the answer is yes, we have a convergent series. If the answer is no, we have a divergent series. That's really just the intuition. Rigorously though, just as we did for improper integrals, to look at this rigorously, we say, well, we're going to sum a fixed number of terms of our sequence, so from a1 up to a n, and then we will let n approach positive infinity. So this is thinking of the series more rigorously. This is thinking of the series more intuitively. And that's it. So just keep in mind that given any sequence, and again a sequence is an infinite list of real numbers, we're trying to see if we can possibly make sense of the infinite sum of your given sequence. And that's it.